<laughs> gotcha. Anyway, mail call, everybody. Get on your feet. Off them bunks, fall in. Fall in for mail call. Will you be pushing Mother Earth away from your face for the next 5,000 years? Anyway, guys. <sighs> Superman. Anyway. Uh, mail call. We got some mail. And and I, I went to the, my lady barber today. I didn't realize she was part of Apache Indian. But anyway, having said that, what else can I tell you? We got some mail. So get to it, Rusty, because we got some stuff here we'll talk about. It. This person put a little letter in here and I'll read you the letter first and show you the stuff and then I'll show you the rest but anyway <clears throat> see that it says Texas and then it says Bangor which is Bangor Maine apparently this person's from Texas but anyway it says hi Rusty I enjoy your videos every day I found your channel back when you you ordered your scamp that's a long time ago I've been interested in taking off in a lightweight trailer for many years. Now that I'm retired, I may actually do it. Well, good for you. Enclosed is a special limited edition t-shirt from the Bangor, Maine Fire Department. This is my way of saying thanks for sharing your adventures and philosophy of life. I've also enclosed a photo showing how tough it is to fight fires in the winter. I've enclosed the information on the Bangor Fire Department Hose 5 Museum. Maybe you could mention the museum in April opening for the season. Okay. Make a note of this, ladies and gentlemen. The Bangor Fire Department Hose 5 Museum will be opening in April for the season on May the 2nd. Okay, so mark that down and go to Bangor, Maine and go to the uh bangor fire department hose five museum and check it out and tell them brian sent you <laughs> anyway well you seem to to have conquered retirement well i guess i'm, I'm not really i don't really feel retired i just feel retarded <clears throat> anyway p.s i'll send you a postcard from maine this summer thank you very much for that and i'll show you first the uh, you'll have to kind of look at this picture a second so you can get a pic, understand what he's saying. Uh, you see the fireman, or the water hoses, you know, the water spraying up on the building is forming ice here. And uh, what it is, is, um, let's see, this, this is the, it says Bangor Daily News, Masonic Center Fire, Bangor Fire Department battles the fire in the freezing cold. Look at that. See that ice everywhere? How'd you like to be a fireman doing that? Huh? Anyway, thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate it. Now we'll read the rest of this. It says, visit the Bangor Fire Department Historic Hose 5 Fire Museum. Admission is free. Open Saturdays 9 to 12, May the 1st through October the 31st. And then he goes on to describe a little bit about it. Says other items at the. It says it got a 1917 Garford pumper, a 1930 McCann pumper, and a 1939 Seagrave pumper, and a 1966 Mack pumper. Also, it's got game well fire alarm boxes, hand tools, hand dry, hand drawn hand carts, brass poles, life net, wooden water mains, vintage bunker gear, photos, and etc. So here's a picture of that there and there. So check out the museum, Bangor Fire Department Historic Hose 5 Museum, opening May 1st through October the 31st from 9 in the morning till noon, and it's free, free admission. Thank you, Brian, and we got that out of the way. Now... I've shown you this. This is the fire they put out. That was a Masonic a lodge, and they looks like they froze it to death. But anyway, move that out of the way. And thank you very much, Brian, for the <clears throat> for the photo, the info, and your letter. And not there's more. There's more. See this package? You pull this out, and I'll show you what he sent me. And this is a uh, limited a limited edition T-shirt 
from the uh, Bangor Fire to Mango, Bangor, I'll get it out here. It's going off here fine. It just ain't getting out here. But anyway, from the Bangor Main Fire Department. Okay, it's on the, this is the face in the front facing you. It's got their emblem there on the front. And uh, then on the back, it's got the whole Yamashita. You see this? It says Bangor and Big Fire Truck 500. I can't read. Anniver oh. 200 year anniversary, I guess. What does it say? Oh, from 1815 to 2015, their 200th anniversary. Yeah, that's older than I am, barely. See that? Pretty neat, huh? And I got it, and you don't. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I got the right size. It's a good old gildan, too. Nothing but first class. Anyway, thank you very much, Brian, for all the stuff you sent me related to the fire department in Bangor, Maine. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Now, what we have to do is give you the mailing address for any of you other people that might want to send something in the mail. You can send it to Rusty S. Rusty S. Or just Rusty's fine. P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. And that'll get it to me. And the reason I do mail call videos is because I enjoy it, number one. Number two, if somebody's going to go to all the trouble to send me something in the mail, a da da da, and a t-shirt, then I'm sure going to do a mail call video. Why? Because I ain't got much else to do anyway. So having said that, we have to get things in order here, guys. Moving right along, we'll put this over here. Now we have to bring in the bucker, 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 the bucket of honor. <laughs> you ever heard of it? Well, buckers, buckers were right before buckets came out. They called them buckers. And then when they grew up, they, they became buckets. So we'll get this turned the right way here. And then I'll turn this just a little bit down like that. I don't think any. Anyway, thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate it. And he's going to send me a card from Maine this summer. Thank you. I'll need it because I'll be in Capitan. Now I'm going to put this in the bucket of honor. As you see, it's going in the bucket of honor. And then we have to honor it. You know what I mean? You got to. You know what I mean? You got to. You got to know. You got to know how to do them. You, get, you know, that's, that's another song. But be that as it may, get your protective lenses, lenses out, ladies and gentlemen. And your helmets. For those of you that have both, put them both on. These are protective lenses to protect you from the radio radiation and the microwave transmission from the zither, which I will turn on in just a minute. I'm just kind of loosening up here. Anyway, they're coming to take me away, huh? aren't they? They sure are. I hear them. I hear, them, I hear their footsteps. But anyway, put on your welding helmets now, the ones that were specially designed in Papalote, Texas, and sent to Guatemala up through Toronto, Canada, to Moscow, down to Kenya, over to Hawaii, and back to Telfernor, Texas, and finally distributed to everyone in the entire group, 43,000 of them, along with these special sunglasses, that uh, you can buy at Walmart. <laughs> Cheap. So anyway, put on your protective lenses, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that have the helmets, remember that this is closed and this is open. Closed, open, closed, open. Got it. And you can put them on sideways if you want to or backwards, whatever turns you on, uh, and go to the grocery store. That would impress everybody in your hometown, I'm sure. Again, thank you, Brian, for all the stuff. You have a good day and stay warm. But anyway, guys, now we got to honor this individual with a good zithering. <laughs> this is nuts. Anyway, ready, guys? One. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Anyway, one more time for old the old Gipper. The old Gipperoni. That's uh, the Italian Gipper. Tickles my throat to say thither. Anyway, don't take off your protective lenses yet or your helmets. Do not do that. See, I did it in sign language so you wouldn't do it. I'll give you the word because I have special perception handed down through thousands of generations of zitherers, so I will check. Oh, no, Mr. Bear! 
hell no! Anyway, one more time, because usually it takes a few seconds for it to settle out. You want to see my hand? That's indicating settling. Actually, that's the drunken tremors, the DTs, because <laughs> getting close to beer 30. Anyway, let me check one more time. Oh, well, yeah, we're good. We're good, guys. You can take your sunglasses off now. You can take your, well, leave your helmets on for those of you that have the helmets and sleep in them. <laughs> that way you won't be disturbed by bright lights. What else can I say? I can only tell you guys that life is good if you make it that way and it's fun. If you, if you want to make a fool out of yourself, you can. Who cares? Nobody really cares. I hate to tell you. But having said that, what else? Uh, tomorrow it's going to be raining here. And I also want to tell you this. I went with visible wireless. I had AT&T. I had it all ready to go. I was all set up. Got my first bill. Three times more than it should be. And they're trying to explain, well, you know, this is this. And you got to wait two months for that and six years for that. Who are they talking to? Me? They're going to tell me I got to wait two months for this and that shit? Ain't happening. No, no. And I made them an offer. I said, look, okay, I'll just, I'll pay you for what I owe you, okay? The bill that I agreed to, I will pay you in full right now. Oh, no, no, no. You got to wait two months to do this now. Out. AT&T went out the window. In came through the window, and I could see it because it was visible, visible wireless. We're going to try that one. Is it going to work? We don't know, but I've got my number in the queue to be ported, and they're sending me a, a SIM card. I get that first. And we're good to go. But anyway, thank you again, Brian, for all the stuff on the, the uh, Bangor, Maine Fire Department, the pictures and all that stuff. And it does open, remember, like, ladies and gentlemen, it opens on Saturdays from 9 in the morning till noon on May the 1st through October the 31st. And admission is free. You can't beat that. So go by and check it out, okay? Visit the Bangor Fire Department Historic Hose 5 Fire Mu Museum. So do it. Anyway, <coughs> tickles my throat. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Doesn't cost you one penny. Maybe a little inconvenient, but it doesn't cost you a penny. What else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight. Why? Because you'll be full of water. You won't want to eat so much. And eating less is the only way to lose weight. I can tell you that right now. There's not enough miles on this planet to lose 200 pounds, I guarantee you. But anyway, what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply through your nose or your mouth. Take a deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Hmm? Because it lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Yeah, if you don't believe me, check it out. And then what else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pe pedal, 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 pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because you'll feel better. Wouldn't that be a good reason? And then you'll also live a little longer, healthier, hopefully. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nora or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your mind, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all that stuff. Don't let the news media or anybody else load you up with a bunch of negative crap that doesn't mean anything. Your choice. Make the right one. And uh, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Adios again. And carry on, etc. Bye-bye. We'll do another mail call video when we get more mail. Adios, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye.